A while back I reviewed the BenQ Zowie XL2735 and found it to be a bit underwhelming. However, there was one feature I rather skipped over, and which it turns out is the thing people are most interested in. So for this video I'm going to revisit the XL2735 and test out that feature, which is called Dynamic Accuracy. Now I'm not going to recap everything else about this display, so if you want to find out more then please head on over to my original review. Instead let's jump straight into looking at Dynamic Accuracy which is actually easier said than done. You see, BenQ has been pretty vague about explaining what dynamic accuracy actually is, despite repeated attempts by me to get answers from them. What's more, there's no mention of the feature on the product's box, and there isn't even an option to enable it in the monitor's menus. Instead, it turns out it's an always-on feature that you can only disable by going to the monitor's service menu, which is accessed by holding down the second from right menu button while powering on the display, then tapping the button again once the display has powered up. So, what is it? Well, it's quite mundane actually. It's just a backlight strobing setting for reducing motion blur, something that has been around for years and is available on several other monitors. In fact, backlight strobing is just a form of black frame insertion, a motion reducing technique that has been around for ages. As its name suggests, what it does is insert a black image in between each frame of video. And the reason this works is that when our eyes perceive motion, they anticipate that movement and track along with it. So if you leave each frame up for its full length and then skip to the next one straight away, your eyes end up blurring the image. If you're able to run at a fast enough frame rate, this isn't so much of a problem, but even at 144Hz the brain can still end up seeing a slightly blurred image. You can try this for yourself. If you head over to the Blurbusters motion blur demo, it perfectly demonstrates the situation. Or you can just grab a window on your desktop and move it left to right. Concentrate on something static behind the window and it looks sharp. Track the window though, and it looks blurry. By inserting a black frame, you're effectively shortening the time each frame is displayed for, greatly reducing this blurring effect. The technique works for nearly all display types, but is doubly beneficial for LCDs because by flashing the backlight off momentarily, you're not only reducing eye tracking motion blur, but also masking the inherent problems with a relatively slow LCD response time. All of which brings us back to dynamic accuracy. And what BenQ has done is address two of the existing problems with backlight strobing black frame insertion. The first is that at lower refresh rates, previous BenQ monitors would double strobe for each frame, resulting in a flickering looking image. With the XL2735, single strobing is now used with all refresh rates above and including 100Hz. This is an improvement, but it still means this monitor will double strobe when used with 60Hz games consoles. The second problem that dynamic accuracy fixes is that strobing a backlight on and off reduces overall brightness, which has meant most implementations of it so far have been a bit underwhelming. Dynamic accuracy fixes that though by making the backlight brighter. BenQ has fitted this display with a scorching 460 nits backlight that then drops to 315 nits when dynamic accuracy is turned on. In comparison, most monitors are between 250 and 300 nits without any blur reduction and can drop to half that when it's enabled. So that's what dynamic accuracy is, but does it actually work? Uh, yes, it very much does. In its default mode, it's not overwhelmingly impressive, but crank up the display's AMA overdrive setting to premium, and this display comes to life, providing the single best LCD gaming experience I've ever encountered. The image is absolutely rock solid and clear as day, with no smearing, flickering, or any other obvious artifacts. And even if there are any slight oddities introduced by the high overdrive setting and other LCD glitches, they pale into insignificance given the sheer responsive feel of this display. As a pure, high-end FPS gaming monitor, it's something of a revelation. However, for all the sheer gaming performance this monitor provides, I do stand by my original review. To all intents and purposes, this is a firmware updated version of the XL2730Z, a monitor that can be had for £200 less. Factor in the below par overall image quality and lack of FreeSync, let alone G-Sync, and you have a display that doesn't feel like good value. That said, it still could. It should be possible for BenQ to release a firmware update that improves the baseline image quality, adds in the option to turn dynamic accuracy off, in turn adding back in FreeSync support, and provides an easy way to adjust how dynamic accuracy works. Do that, and maybe drop the price by 50 to 100 pounds, and you're getting somewhere. As it is, there are many other displays I'd rather buy instead.